Well, I've got the board. The problem is, I don't have uh, drill bits. I've got my drill, but I haven't got the charger because the charger is in the van. And the van is in Salt Lake, about 400 miles south of here. Um, so I can't mount any armature that I do. <sighs> this is really a pain not having a vehicle. Um, tomorrow I will be going to Bozeman to pick up my van, or my rental car. And uh, so I don't know what, how much I'll be able to do, if anything, tomorrow. But uh, what I'm thinking of doing is, is a mountain man on horseback. I love the mountain man period of our history. Um, they were pretty much loners. We still have mountain men who trap in the mountains. And uh, it's, it, I've seen them. Uh, they've come to Annis to, to get supplies on their, their pack horses and horse. And uh, they were dressed just like they would have been dressed in the 1800s, 1820s, around that period. Uh, they even carry the same type of rifles in some respects. Um, they really lived a life. Um, mountain man rendezvous, if you can ever get to one, is are amazing to see. I mean, there's a lot of crappy clothing in those things, but uh, there are some people who really pay attention to the history and to the uh, type of clothing that would have uh, been worn. Now, nobody really knows what mountain men really looked like. There's a lot of theories. I mean, they they sold a lot of uh, uh, shaving kits because, you know, the Indian women that they would uh, eventually get up with, um, well, they, they didn't care for the beards because, quite honestly, the beards uh, rubbed their faces raw. They weren't used to beards. Um, so more than likely, mountain men were pretty clean shaven unless they lived by themselves. Um, I've, I've heard that uh, mountain men would not have dressed like uh, the Indians, and the reason for that would be that because the Indians uh, had no respect for a white man who tried to be Indian. The reason it, it fascinates me is because, uh, uh, you know, it, it's just, it was just such a short period of time. It was only 20 years. Um, from around the uh, time of Lewis and Clark, which was 1806 and 7 and 8, to 1840. Um, about that, well, I guess it's about 30 years or so. I mean, but in actuality, about 20 years. Um, when the fashion for uh, beaver uh, ended in, in uh, Europe and they went to silkworms, uh, that ended the... Uh, fur trade uh, with Europe and that's that was that pretty much ended the uh, mountain man or trapping period a lot of them became uh, wagon train guides or guides on expeditions like Kit Carson and people like that so the period so after the uh, fur trade ended a lot of uh, the mountain men uh, became uh, guides for wagon trains and, and, and such um, so I love the mountain man period, and I'm going to do a mountain man, and uh, I apologize for not being able to do much today because, quite honestly, it's just I don't have any materials to do it with. It's uh, either in my van or uh, at my studio, which is too far away for me to get to right now. So that will be it for today. Um, like I said, I'll have a, a vehicle tomorrow. And if I get back early enough, I can get to work uh, tomorrow afternoon on my uh, mountain man piece. And I'm going to be waiting for uh, the extra crystal ball for the, uh, the, the uh, so I can put both heads on both the crystal balls. These are top of the uh, door handles that uh, these uh, heads are going to be on. And then I can re-sculpt, uh, or not re-sculpt, but reposition the heads and make sure they're both sized right and everything like that. So, until then, uh, I'll have to call it quits for today. It just irritates me because I really want to get to work. <laughs> but I got a way of doing it. Uh, have a good night.